This one gets lost in the mix for a lot of gamers in the 8-bit era. Often seen as a Space Harrier clone, I, Stuttering Craig, am here to tell you that is not the case, my friend. Totally different! Well, not, not really. Actually, I'll give you the whole fighting a dragon at the end of the level thing, but there are actually some pretty good differences between the two. Like in Space Harrier, you can move all around the screen, and in 3D World Runner, you cannot. And besides, if copying a game was never allowed, Nintendo would have never made the US version of Super Mario Bros. 2. <clears throat> Doki Doki Panic. <clears throat> and on top of all that, they later made a crap-ass version of Space Terrier for the NES anyways. If you ask me, it needs a little blast processing. So what kicked ass about 3D World Runner? Well, for one, it's in 3D. By hitting select, you have the very unstable third dimension mode and a wide assortment of things flying at you. In 3D! Beware, there are some side effects though from wearing those glasses. Most notably, spastic movements, unrecognizable gibberish, and the clap. And you look stupid. Even if you don't have 3D glasses to play this game, it's incredibly fast paced, so that's a good thing for all you ADDers out there. And here's a fun fact. Did you know the same people who brought you Final Fantasy also designed this game? Hmm, interesting. So what sucks about 3D World Runner? Well, the invincibility is a joke. It's short and unsatisfying, just like Tom Cruise. But other than that, not a whole lot. It's actually a really fun game, and I suggest you checking it out. It's 3D World Runner for the NES. Oh.